Pluto. Last year I was given a book from my mother. This book is called 300, 300, 3000 questions about me. I thought it would be cool for every few weeks to take a break from the tarot that I post on my channel. Why not mix it up? I'm going to go ahead and choose a question at random. I'm gonna go ahead and answer four questions. What is the first question? Hmm. What's the first question that's gonna pop up? I'll pick whichever one is here. Which do you think is bigger, the World Series or Super Bowl, and why? I'm not interested in football. I've never been interested in football. I have respect for people who play football. Honestly, I don't see any difference between the World Series or the Super Bowl. I think probably the World Series is bigger because it has the word world in it. Nothing is bigger than the world. Super is a big, big word there, but nothing's bigger than the world. And super is only a word that is restricted to one language, which is English. And there's thousands of languages on the planet. So I'm gonna vote for the world series. <laughs> What's the next one? Do you have a chip on your shoulder about something? Hmm. The answer is yes. I've been treated like an afterthought. I've been, <laughs> I've been disappointed. Let's just say that. I am very introverted. I keep to myself because people have shown me time and time again that they could care less about what I have to say and stuff like that. The thing about that is I understand we're all a conglomerate of experiences and energy. I do accept the energy for what it is. I do accept our molecular dances and interactions for what they are. I am at peace, but I still have a chip on my shoulder because I've seen who I've become in the realm of intense introversion because of the way that I've been treated. Treated in the same kind of way that I've always been treated. I take myself seriously. I take life seriously. Nobody takes me seriously. So yeah. Okay, let's <laughs> find out if there's any other interesting questions here. I wanna go to the front. Ooh, it's red. I dressed up in red because of my Amon and Mars shirt. So that's cool. What is your greatest extravagance? The apartment I'm living in right now. It has old appliances, but it has very high ceilings, a beautiful view, privacy, but I'm not paying for it. My boyfriend's paying for it. The things I choose to do when I actually have the energy to do it are sacred. My time is extravagant. The fact that I choose what I want to do when I'm awake is an extravagance. My hair, my natural hair, that's also an extravagance. I used to neglect my hair, straighten it all the time and treat it like shit because I didn't know how to take care of it. And now that I know how to take care of it, I absolutely adore my natural hair and its resilience. So I guess that's another extravagance. Let's find one more before I decide to put all my lights away and watch Vampire Diaries for the rest of the night. I want to go to the end. Oh, I want to go to the end. Hmm. So, here. How important is your compatibility in friendships? important. I really do honor and respect atoms and molecules and the way that we are supposed to naturally interact because I know that humans really do have the capacity to expand upon our most pure states. Things and relationships, friendships can continue to expand on basic layers of incompatibility. There's nothing that I would like more in the world than to just be treated with 
empathy. Empathy is a word that is commonly used, but I don't think a lot of people can embody it. And it's not their fault. It's just that we're all dancing on different wavelengths. I don't think compatibility is necessary, but I think compatibility would be a luxury. Thank you for watching.